Welcome to System Test 6 with my Firelight MS9200 UDLS Addressable Fire Alarm Control Panel, my Cooper Wheel Lock Safe Path S SPMNS Voice Evacuation System. On this test, we have some new devices and some new programming. So, first off, right here, this is a Kitty EG1V LED Fire Alarm Remote Strobe. And then coming over here, we have a Cooper Wheelock LED speaker strobe. And then coming down here, we have another new device. This right here is a Notifier NBG1 TS fire alarm, conventional fire alarm pull station. And that is wired to this Firelight monitor module, which allows it to be on an addressable fire alarm system. The tone that I have the the tone and the message that I have the speaker strobe set to is a little bit different. Honestly, I think it's the worst message that this system has. Just the way the message is pronounced and the tone of voice and all, I just don't like it. I also did change the tone so it doesn't do code 3. It just gives a continuous beep when you first start it. So, without further to do, we can go ahead and pull this. And there it is. I did silence the system, so the message did, did stop. That was the female voice evacuation for fire, and that is the second button. If I push this button, it would reactivate the message. And we can go ahead and test the system sensor 2400 smoke detector. We have some smoke centurion right here, and it will reactivate the system since it's a new device. And this is basically just fake smoke in a can. The LED right there will come on. There it is. May I have your attention, please? A fire emergency has been reported in the building. While this is being verified, please leave the building by the nearest exit. Do not use the elevators. May I have your attention, please? A fire emergency has been reported in the building. While this is being verified, please leave the building by the nearest exit. Do not use the elevators. Well, it looks like that can gave out so much smoke that this smoke detector decided to activate. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, we can go ahead and reset the pull station. Have the key sitting right here. This takes a notifier key as it's a notifier pull station. Now that it's reset, we can go ahead and reset the whole fire alarm system. Alright, well the system is reset and it says that the system is back in normal condition. So I think that's going to do it for this test. Thank you everyone for watching and have a great day.